what are the best stocks to buy? There is no definitive answer when it comes to the best stocks to buy. However, there are a few general tips that can help you choose stocks that may be a good fit for your portfolio. Some factors to consider when choosing stocks include the company's financial stability, growth potential, and valuation. You'll also want to consider your own personal investment goals and risk tolerance. With all of that in mind, here are a few stocks that may be worth considering for your portfolio. Please like, subscribe and turn on the notification button to keep supporting our channel. When it comes to the best stocks to buy, there is no shortage of options out there. However, trying to figure out which stocks are actually worth investing in can be a daunting task. After all, there are so many different factors to consider, and it can be tough to know where to even begin. If you're looking for some help in figuring out the best stocks to buy, you've come to the right place. In this blog post, we'll take a look at some of the things you should consider when trying to identify which stocks are worth investing in. We'll also give you a few specific examples of stocks that have the potential to be great investments. One of the first things you'll want to look at when trying to identify the best stocks to buy is the company's financial stability. After all, you don't want to invest in a company that is on the verge of bankruptcy. A good way to assess a company's financial stability is by looking at its balance sheet. In general, you'll want to look for companies that have more assets than liabilities. You'll also want to look at companies that have a strong history of profitability. These are the types of companies that are more likely to weather economic downturns and still be in good shape financially. Another important factor to consider when trying to identify the best stocks to buy is the company's competitive advantage. A company's competitive advantage is the thing that makes it better than its competitors. It could be a unique product, a service that is not easily replicated, or some other factor. Ideally, you want to invest in companies that have a sustainable competitive advantage. This means that the company's competitive advantage is not something that can easily be taken away by its competitors. For example, if a company has a patent on a new technology, that is a sustainable competitive advantage. Finally, you'll want to consider the company's management team when trying to identify the best stocks to buy. After all, the company's management team is ultimately responsible for the company's success or failure. Ideally, you want to invest in companies that have a management team with a proven track record of success. You'll also want to look for companies that have a management team that is aligned with the company's shareholders. These are just a few of the things you'll want to consider when trying to identify the best stocks to buy. However, if you keep these factors in mind, you'll be well on your way to finding some great investments. 1. Apple Inc. Apple Apple Inc. has been one of the best performing stocks over the past decade, and shows no signs of slowing down. The company is constantly innovating and releasing new products that consumers love, which has helped them maintain a strong market share. Investors can expect continued growth from Apple Inc. in the future. 2. Amazon.com Inc. 
Amazon Amazon.com Incorporated is another company that has seen tremendous growth in recent years. The online retailer has changed the way we shop, and has become a go-to destination for millions of people. Amazon.com Incorporated is a great long-term investment, and investors can expect continued growth from the company. 3. Google Incorporated. Google Google Incorporated is one of the largest companies in the world, and it is a powerhouse in the tech industry. The company has a strong market share in search, and also offers popular products such as Gmail and Google Maps. Google Incorporated is a great stock to buy for long-term growth. 4. Facebook Incorporated. FB Facebook Incorporated is one of the hottest stocks on the market, and for good reason. The social media company has seen tremendous growth in recent years, and is now used by billions of people around the world. Facebook Incorporated is a great stock to buy for long-term growth. 5. Microsoft Corporation MSFT Microsoft Corporation is a tech giant that has been around for many years. The company is a leader in the industry, and offers popular products such as Windows and Office. Microsoft Corporation is a great stock to buy for long-term growth. There are a lot of factors to consider when purchasing stocks, and it can be difficult to know where to start. However, understanding a few key concepts will help you make more informed decisions when buying stocks. Here are some factors to consider when purchasing stocks. 1. The company's financial stability. You want to make sure that the company you're investing in is financially stable. This means that they should have a strong balance sheet and a healthy ratio of debt to equity. You can find this information in the company's financial statements. 2. The company's competitive advantage. It's important to invest in companies that have a competitive advantage. This could be a strong brand, a unique product, or a loyal customer base. This will help make sure that the company can withstand competition and still be profitable. 3. The company's valuation. You don't want to overpay for a stock, so it's important to look at the company's valuation. This includes things like the price to earnings ratio and the enterprise value to sales ratio. You can find this information in the company's financial statements. 4. The company's growth potential. It's important to invest in companies with strong growth potential. This means that they have a solid business model and are well positioned to grow in the future. You can find this information by looking at the company's financial statements and doing your own research. 5. Your own risk tolerance. It's important to invest in a way that aligns with your own risk tolerance. This means that you should only invest in stocks that you're comfortable holding for the long term. If you're not comfortable with the risk, you can always invest in less risky options like bonds or cash. These are just a few of the factors to consider when purchasing stocks. However, understanding these concepts will help you make more informed decisions when investing in the stock market. What are the risks involved in buying stocks? When it comes to buying stocks, there are a number of risks involved that potential investors need to be aware of. The first and most obvious risk is that the stock might not be worth anything, or may even fall in value after you purchase it. 
This is often the case with new or unproven companies, which may not have the financial stability to support their stock price. Another risk is that the company might not be doing as well as you thought, and their stock price may drop as a result. This can be due to a number of factors, including poor management, unexpected SSSS losses, or even just poor market conditions. Lastly, there is the risk that the company might go out of business entirely. This is usually the most catastrophic outcome, and can often lead to investors losing all of their money. While it's impossible to predict the future and know for certain which stocks will succeed and which will fail. Doing your research and investing in well-established companies can help mitigate some of these risks. The best stocks to buy are those that will appreciate in value over time. Many factors go into determining which stocks will be the best performers, and it is important to do your research before investing. You may want to consider talking to a financial advisor to get started. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification button so that you won't miss any updates.